Now we have a presentation to Culver City, sister city of Lethbridge, Alberta in Canada. I believe we have from some representatives from the sister city committee who would like to speak uh, before we all join you for uh, further presentations. Good evening, Madam Mayor, Council Members. We're truly honored this evening to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the twinning of the cities of Culver City and Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. We're honored to have with us um, the acting mayor and city councilman, Ryan Parker, and his wife. We're also honored to have, of course, the Lethbridge uh, Twinning Society delegation. Um, before we come up there, what I'd like to do is I want to acknowledge both our uh, sister city Lethbridge committee who put together the itinerary and all of the venues and arranged all the meals and everything that occurred, which was headed up by Maureen Gentleman and, and her committee, and they'll come up also. But I also want to acknowledge the host families, which so graciously uh, lent their homes to accommodate uh, the visitors and I'd like them just to stand up briefly if, if I can do that. Uh, I'm just going to read them off here, but Madeline and Paul Ehrlich, uh, Annette and Roger Maxwell. Um, we have, uh, who else do we have here? Uh, Diane and David Hauptman. Uh, Barbara Honig, who's with our committee, but she's unable to be here tonight. Natalie and David Shaby are also not able to be here tonight. And Sonia Karoom, who will be coming up in a minute as part of the Lethbridge Committee, and she hosted a wonderful breakfast for, for everybody. So now I'll leave it in your hands, Madam Mayor. And All right. So what we're going to do is the, the council is going to come down to the well. We would invite all of the sister city delegation and all the participants, the host families, will come up and, and have a proclamation and a little bit of a gift exchange. Great. If you'll please join us. Everybody was here for the billboards tonight, but I guess not. <laughs> Your worship, uh, Mr. Parker. <laughs> Right, this is a proclamation for the 25th anniversary of Lethbridge Sister City Twinning. Whereas Lethbridge, Canada, Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada, which was incorporated in 1882, is in an area rich with the history of the native peoples of the Blackfoot tribes, explorers, trappers, farmers, mounties, mining, and those who immigrated from Europe and Asia. And Lethbridge is located on the Oldman River near the Rocky Mountains in southern Alberta and boasts the longest and highest steel trestle bridge in North America. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Whereas 
Lethbridge celebrates the arts, culture, and history year-round through its numerous art galleries, festivals, and programs at education and recreation facilities. And the NMAX Center in Lethbridge was built for the 1975 Canada Winter Games to host athletes from throughout Canada. And whereas in 1956, Sister Cities International was founded by President Dwight D. Eisenhower to serve as a national membership organization for individual U.S. cities, counties, and states across the United States to forge relationships with their counterparts throughout the world. Whereas on November 17, 1989, representatives from Culver City and Lethbridge met in Lethbridge to jointly establish a formal sister city relationship. And the ongoing sister city relationship between the sister cities of Culver City and Lethbridge has continued to demonstrate the benefits of cultural exchanges through meetings and personal relationships as imagined when Sister Cities International was founded. And whereas, over the past 25 years, there have been numerous visits between representatives of Culver City and Lethbridge, which have furthered the mission statement of Sister Cities International to promote peace throughout mu through mutual respect, understanding, and cooperation, one individual, one community at a time. And whereas, today, we are pleased to welcome the delegation from our sister city of Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada, led by Ryan Parker, acting mayor of Lethbridge. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Culver City, California, hereby proclaims November 17th, 2014, as the 25th anniversary of the twinning of Lethbridge and Culver City as Sister Cities Day wishes acting Mayor Parker and the entire delegation from Lethbridge a pleasant stay in Culver City and looks forward to continued friendship between the residents of our two cities. Dated this 10th day of November 2014 uh, by my colleagues on the council and myself the mayor. Congratulations and thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you very much, and uh, something tells me when this is all done, half the room will be gone, because everyone's here just for this, am I correct? <laughs> first of all, this is my first time to Culver City. Uh, I was elected to the Leper City Council in 1998 at the age of 23, and when we built our new city hall in the year 2000, we wanted to make sure that we did it in a proper way, which recognized uh, significant people in our community, but also significant relationships. And we have a room in City Hall called the Culver City Room. And it's a room where we as council meet, as well as community groups, volunteer organizations meet, administrators meet. And it's probably one of those second most prominent rooms within our building. And we have a six floor building. At that time, it was over $20 million to build. But we really wanted to recognize the relationship we had with Culver City. And it's hard to believe it's been 25 years. I was 14 years when it was first signed. But I did work with the mayor at that time. Uh, that would be David Carpenter. And we've had numerous mayors since then. We've had uh, Bob Tarlix, who some of you have met. Uh, we've had Rayko Dodik. And we have a new mayor by the name of Chris Spearman, who has never been on city council, but he was elected to Leopard City Council last year. And so he didn't have the opportunity to come this year, but I had the privilege of representing not only my council, but more importantly, my community. And I really appreciate all the time and effort that the volunteers put in. Where's Mim? Where's Mim? Mim's here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> And from what I just met Mim yesterday at Sonia's house for a warm heart breakfast, and she's kind of the matriarch of this whole winning organization. So I think, first of all, we should uh, commend Mim for all her time and effort for what she's done to help start this whole twinning. I arrived here on Saturday with my wife, and if you know Canadians, when we come to California, uh, we come here to see Disneyland and we get out. And we don't have an opportunity to visit cities like Culver City. And we had an opportunity, thanks to people like Matthew and Alan, to see other areas surrounding Culver City, such as uh, Venice Beach, um, uh, Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive, even drove by Pinks, as everyone always talks about Pinks. 
But I'd have to say that Culver City, by far, is one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to. It's clean, it's safe, and it's kind of in the heart of LA. And I think that's the key word, it's the heart. And so you should be so proud of that. Too often we take our own communities for granted until we bring visitors to our community, and then we start showcasing what makes our community so great. And I think you guys have done an excellent job at that. So to summarize, you know, we've seen some amazing things. I'm going to be leaving tomorrow. And just so you know, in Lethbridge, Alberta right now, we're a city of 90,000, close to the mountains. If you're wondering where Lethbridge is, we're two hours south of Calgary. We're an hour from the border. It's about minus 15 degrees. <laughs> so, so we really should make this a monthly exchange. <laughs> But I've seen some wonderful facilities today. We had an opportunity to go to the police station. We had a great tour. Thank you so much for that. We went to the fire station, uh, fire headquarters. And then we also went to actually a CNG, a Press National Gas Facility. And Paul did an amazing tour. And it's amazing your facilities. It's amazing what you learn. It's amazing what you can take back to your community. So on behalf of His Worship, Mayor Chris Spearman, members of City Council, I did bring a letter here today with an official seal on it, recognizing, of course, our relationship but thank you very much. We appreciate it and looking forward to coming back. And of course, I invite all of you to come to Lethbridge. Thank you very much in the summer. Thank you so much. And I, oh, I do. And I do have some gifts as well. And I'm. Can some here? I'll grab. I'll grab the gifts real quick for you. Okay. Right. And in the meantime, we have Harold. Preservatives of the pre president of the Lethbridge Twinning Society. Thank you very much, Megan. So I think that um, Megan got a hold of my little dissertation here because the proclamation pretty much uh, sums it up. But however, uh, November the 17th, 1989, 25 years ago, um, that's when it all began. The relationship between the city of Lethbridge in Alberta, Canada and Culver City, California. Indeed, a proclamation was made by, at that time, His Worship Mayor David Carpenter and the Lethbridge City Council and Mayor. This set the stage for this wonderful sister city relationship and bonding. The proclamation was as well endorsed by then President of the Lethbridge Twinning Society, Wally Hilt. Since that momentous day, there has been a focus by dedicated individuals who, as members of the Lethbridge Twinning Society and the Culver City Sister City Committee, who believe that being model citizen diplomats and who generously extend the hand of friendship um, across the borders. Today, the Lethbridge Twinning Society enjoys international relations with not only Culver City, but with Timoshevsk, Russia, with Tawa City, Japan, and also now Great Falls, Montana. Likewise, the Culver City Sister Committee uh, has international relations with, Le with Lethbridge, European Mexico, Izuka, Japan, and Ixan in South Korea. We are here to celebrate the relationship that we have with Culver City and the Culver City Sister Cities Committee members. This union is not our longest standing sister city relationship. However, it is the strongest and tightest bond that we have. The many delegation visits both, both ways have resulted in personal relationships, sports, school, musical exchanges, along with a host of meetings at conventions and conferences. I recently came upon an adjective that this sister city relationship uh, means to us and that we enjoy. And that word is koinonia. Koinonia raises the bar in a relationship. The essential meaning of the word koinonia embraces concepts conveyed in the English terms of community, communion, joint participation, sharing, and even in, in, um, intimacy. As the president of the Lethbridge Twinning Society, I and our delegation from Lethbridge are here in Culver City to celebrate our quarter century of Koinonia. This Koinonia did not happen. It took effort and dedication, persistence, and yes, at times, arm twisting. So 
The co-presidents of the Culver City Sister City Committee, Alan Schweigerman and Matt Seeberger, along with the chairman, uh, chairperson, I should say, of the Lethbridge Relations, Maureen Gentman, have truly extended the hand of friendship to our delegation and have made us feel very welcome. Our delegation consists of our Lethbridge City Councilor, and Acting Mayor Ryan Parker and his wife Mandy, myself and my wife Cheryl and our son Warren. Michael Bennett, our Lethbridge Twinning Society Director for Culver City Relations. Terry Demerchant, our Treasurer and El Errol and Tasma Zaretsky. Our homestay hosts, Sonia Carome, Barbara Honick, Gary Silberger, Annette and Roger Maxwell, Madeline and, P and Paul Elric, and Diane and David Hopman have treated us all so well. We realize that there are many others, all who have taken time and built this great organization that we can call a sister city. You know, a few days before we came down here, we had a snowstorm in Lethbridge. We had over a foot of snow. There is a certain majesty and beauty that exists when a blanket of fresh snow covers the landscape. Soon after a snowfall, the neighborhood residents are outside clearing the snow from their sidewalks and driveways. But that day I recall looking out the window and I knew that I had a date with the snow shovel. I had to dig out my winter boots and my coat and a toque. Well, the toque is a, what we call, the Canadians call a stocking cap. And as I peered out the window, past my driveway and across the street, and even further, my mind traveled all the way to Culver City. I saw no snow in Culver City, and I did, however, see the friends that would be soon meeting us and greeting us in our, in our fine sister city. I still had to go out to shovel the snow, but the heartwarming thoughts of Culver City and the friendships that we have here made the task feel so much less onerous. Friends, we look forward to our next opportunity that we will enjoy one another's company, regardless if it is in Lethbridge or here in Culver City. I am certain it will be a time of great joy and continue to building our Koinonia relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I wish to call upon our Lethbridge Twinning Society Director to, for the Culver City Relations, Mr. Michael Bennett, who will be making a presentation to your wonderful Mayor, Megan. I'll get the I'll get the call. Mayor, it is my great pleasure to present a very special gift um, on behalf of the Lethbridge Twinning Society in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Um, it's a very special gift. It's called an exile. Oh, Sorry, it's an it's a Inuit statue, basically, from Canada's north. And um, these are basically like parents, rock parents, help people find their way across the great vast tundra and the great Arctic uh, that we all share. And uh, what this does, basically, it is, it is to show the direction. And they're rather like the Native Americans would have had symbols of sticks or rocks and things to help people find their way as well. Now, obviously, up north, they're not going to be this color. They're made of rocks. But anyway, it's just a great pleasure um, to present this to you because it shows it's a direction finder and the direction to find ourselves over a vast territory and the uniting of friendships, and especially the friendships between Lethbridge and Culver City, California. So it is a great pleasure that I present you as a gift. And we too have a number of things to give to you. We have some wonderful, thank you. <laughs> This, this may not be uh, wayfinding, but it is our city seal, and uh, it, it uh, is a token of our friendship and 
the 25th anniversary with, with many thanks for your friendship. Um, we have a gift here for the uh, Lethbridge Twinning Society. Uh, the artist is in the. Anybody hear this? Um, it's, this will also go to the mayor and city hall. It's for. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. I, I stand. Well, it was, it was a nice try. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to present this. The artist, uh, Ziva Rubin, is. Which, oh, there she is. All right. Um, she is a wonderful artist, and this is a, a truly spectacular sample of her work. And this is for Councillor Parker and uh, for the mayor's office, city council, um, or your home. For the city room. And uh, so we would like to present that to you. Last but not least, we have history books of the history of Culver City written by our city historian uh, with many lovely uh, photographs of our uh, movie identity and our heart and soul. So very happy to give these to you. Well, first of all, thank you very much for the gifts. It's... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to take that on the plane tomorrow morning, but uh, we'll find a way to get that back to Lethbridge. We will be hanging this. I yeah, well, th thank you for sure. We'll guarantee to have that uh, hanging in the Culver City room with the other uh, pieces of art that have been given to us over the years. And thank you very much for the book as well. Um, we do have some gifts for uh, for the council as well, and and we got first of all we have some uh, pens from the mayor. They're not cheap bics. They're actually very good quality <laughs> pens from the mayor's office. An official letter from the mayor with our seal and of course some, uh, some vests with our official City Crest logo and we can give that, on give that to you a little later on. But the last thing I want to talk about is before we look, because I know we could go on all night, politicians, we could speak forever here, but a little bit about what you're probably wondering why we're wearing these uh, red poppies and uh, the city manager was talking about earlier that, that tomorrow is uh, Veterans Day. And in Canada, we celebrate uh, a holiday, a day of recognition. I don't like to use the word holiday, but a day of recognition is called Memorial Day, Remembrance Day, actually, Remembrance Day. And we wear the poppies to, to show our thanks and, and to, in the memory of the people that have died for our countries. And I say countries in the plural because I do believe Canada and the United States have always fought for a common cause. And when you said that there's been close to 47 million people that have served in the military in the history of the United States, that's close to the population of Canada. Just so you have a sense of scale that is. And that just shows you how much patriotism and how much, um, how much your country gives in military support across this world. And uh, on behalf of Canada, we say thank you so much because you are a very strong ally. We are fighting for a common cause and it continues today. And I think more than ever, uh, we see it on the news that these poppies or any way we can recognize people that have fought for our freedom, they should be recognized. So that's why we have these poppies, just so we, People in the audience going, why are they wearing these poppies? This isn't the official logo of Lethbridge or Crest, but it's something that we wear across the, our nation. So thank you very much. And I do have some gifts for you, but thank you very much. On behalf of everyone, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 